Um, hello, I wanted to address this issue of my feed being viewable on um, the interactive whiteboard when I'd be working with students in a lesson. There might be some things that teachers might be having a bit of banter with each other or whatever, or just you might be talking to teachers, writing on their walls, and you don't want people to see what they've written, um, um, what you've written or what they've written, or even talking to students um, if you're messaging them about whatever to see who you're talking to, etc. Anyway, how do we keep that private? So, to edit your um, your front page, you go into personal drafts. You go into personal drafts. Hey, <laughs> um, and then you have four dashboards in here, and the four minus the senior school one. I'd have to go into this for both senior and junior um, schools um, because they're separate templates, and it opens it up like this. Now you don't want to muck about with this too much. Um, you have to be quite careful with it. Um, but I'm just going to show you what we're going to do. So I'm going to go to structure, and then this um, classical container brick here, I'm just going to drag it in above my feed like that. Okay. So that then looks like this. So I'm now just going to pull my feed brick into the collapsible container. Is that gone? There it is, into there, like so. So when the collapse brick is in the expanded state, it will um, reveal my feed. Um, so before that, I'm going to put a text and pictures brick into the collapse state. So I'm just going to have it showing a picture. And then in the picture box, come on, in the picture box, I am just going to go and upload um, this. Uh, this is my my logo. I'm going to go and resize that before I go in because I know it's a bit big for what I want it to do. So I'm going to put it down to 60%. And save. And so that's my resize there, I think. Let's see if that's okay. I'm just going to put it in the center so it sits pleasantly. I've chosen one with it which works with a white background specifically. But we could do a generic one for the whole staff. And there it is, and it's sitting about the right width. So I'm just going to publish and exit. Go home. And then there it is. So my feed is now hidden. And if I want to read it, I click that picture, and there it is. And I click it again, and it goes back. Hey, presto. So that was a good way of hiding the feed. So you maybe want to come up with some generic thing. I got this off a guy um, called James Shawley, I think, um, off Twitter. He's Journey with Frog um, on Twitter, and he's just done that for his staff. And I think that's really cool. So we might want to look at doing something like that um, for all of our staff prior to going live.